Hey people, Slothcakes here, and welcome back to some more Gundam Battle Operation 2. Now today in the hangar, we're going to be deploying the level 1, 300 cost, general type of Freak. And yes, I've painted this guy to look like the Freak Kai. And no, that's not to confuse people, it's because I like the orange shoulders. The Freak Kai has a solid color scheme. But anyways, let me show you guys my build right here. And it's super simple, nothing super important to talk about. Just, the Freak is a great suit. It's an amazing general type. It embodies the cloak and dagger type of playstyle. And if you don't know it, which it's actually be really surprising if you don't know this suit, like how have you not ran into this thing? But it has a shotgun with low ammo. It has great stun. It's just how the shotgun shoots the pellets. I don't really know exactly how it works, but few of the pellets need to hit you to stun you. But it has a smoke screen which makes it invisible and gives it a defense boost. You can see the defense boost in the bottom right. But when the defense boost goes away, that means your smoke screen wore off. Wear it off. Yeah, whatever. And other than that, it has a good melee weapon. Now onto the gameplay. I usually go right here. Because it's just a thing where I feel like someone always rushes around this corner. So I always just like to stay back and just make sure they don't flank our team. But no, it looks like the guy is going back there. And he's gonna sideline, and yeah, that guy right there, that was the guy that was waiting. So, it wasn't a raid type, sadly, but usually raid types do that, and this guy is great at dueling raid types. Just because you have type advantage, and that shotgun, I don't know why, but that shotgun goes through maneuver armor. Like, it is insane. This gun, which you're gonna see in a second, can stun the GOG, even though the GOG has heavy stun resistance. It's one of those things that, like, I have no reason why. But anyways, I'm gonna do this guy. Kind of goofy, I'm gonna have to admit. Gonna get him with that. Get forward and side swing. And I might be in trouble if my boost didn't come back that second. Because if it didn't come back then, he would've got those swungs on me, and we would've been back in this, like, neutral game. But, but thankfully, I got the hits. And here's something funny is about to happen. There's another Freet, I got him. And I thought this was the Freet DS for some reason. It's the color scheme. But my legs are broken. And I somehow got it. I did not know how I got that. I couldn't have, I could have barely walked. I couldn't have boosted anything. So I just do a Hail Melee and that actually worked. But you know, my legs are broken. So I'm going to do some repairing and hopefully I get to repair it just a little bit so I can escape. But at this point, when you're like in this, when you're in enemy battle repairing, you just, ooh, it's kind of, it's kind of spooky. Gonna give you that. But with repairing, I just wanted to repair it enough so I can actually start walking. But I had enough time to repair it a good amount. It's always about, so if I boost around, I'm not gonna break my legs. But no, I'm activating the smoke and trying to find someone to flank. But looks like there's the gun cannon over there. And I'm not going to mess with that thing. But let's see around here. I'm trying to see if there's any raid types trying to act about. But, yep, and there's the GOG. Gone with that. The GOG got a counter. That's a nice counter. But he's going to get stunned. Bonk. Yep, as you see, it's a great uh, gun. The uh, thing can actually stun the GOG, which is crazy. But that GOG is, knows what he's doing in the most part. But we got him with that. I'm gonna die, but I realized, let me just get this one kill, and yes, sweet. Took someone with me. But with the Garg and the Freet, just be careful. The Garg can just swing and just hit you. But uh, just hit him with the shotgun, that's the best choice. Hit him with the shotgun, then go for the back swing. Because he can eat through the forward swing. And it's a strange thing where if you forward back swing the Garg, his maneuver armor and his stun resistance might like act up. And he can tackle straight through your forward swing. So by the time the back swing comes in, you're going to get countered. Which is kind of lame, but kind of cool when it happens. No, we're going to get this guy. Bonk. Going to get him again. Always aim for the feet, you know what i got to say. And there's a Gog to the left of me. I shouldn't have left that a feet by himself, but, you know, oh well. And this Gog's going to do some massive damage. I didn't expect for him to do this. That guy just swung. And I'm not going to be salty about it, but those claws were nowhere near me. But no, right here, shot him with the thing, bonk. 
And was one more bonk. Bam. Yeah. He does do good damage. I do like the Gog. It's a nice suit. It sucks that's in a uh, event only suit because if you want to play it, that's tough luck. But you can say that with most suits in this game because of the gacha system. But like, at least you have a chance. With the Gog, nope. But nope, I'm gonna be repaying for the second time this game. And there's enemies in front of me and behind me. Not the best time to repair. You know, we got that guy, bonk, and can I get him? I did, and I'm pretty much dead. But nope, that guy got countered, which is nice. And again, with the forward swing, I thought I was going to down swing him. But no, there was an air strike, I got a little confused. I'm like, yeah, that was a very bad choice if I down swung, because I would have hit my teammate, and he would have got hit by the air strike. But right here, there's the guard. I don't know what I was doing. I <laughs> didn't realize my legs. So yeah, I'm pretty much dead, and someone's coming from behind. I should have tackled. But oh well, you know. It happens. But at that, even at that range, you're gonna stun the guard, which is cool. This thing goes through maneuver armor like it's nothing. But check this little, this cool little thing out. My entire team is dead, and I'm gonna spawn in at A point. Which, for some reason, we have. They have all the points except for A. And I realized, oh, the entire team is practically... I mean, the entire enemy team is practically at our base. Or a little close to it. So I'm gonna spawn to the point closest to the base, put up my smoke, and I'm gonna bomb the base. Just because they have a small lead. Actually, now we have the lead. But if this bomb goes off, they would have to wipe out an entire team to uh, actually keep up. And here's a good bomb strategy. When you plant the bomb, look at your t uh, score. If your score goes up by the cost of a mobile suit, that means your team got a kill. And if that happens, be very careful because they're going to see you deploying the bomb and they're going to spawn at their base. So if you're walking to the base and you team scored a point, Wait just a little bit so they can spawn. Because once they spawn at a different spot, that's when you can bomb it. But there, no one's died yet except for one person. I already have the bomb, the base bombed. We have a lead, so I was going to come and help my team. If we didn't have the lead, I would have stayed back and wait for the bomb to be deployed. Because even if the bomb gets cancelled, we're still in the lead. So this is actually a pretty good strategy. And right now... By the time I get to my team, everyone's probably dead. So I'm just roaming around to see if there's any stragglers. Because there might be someone evacuating because there's only X amount of seconds. But no, it didn't look like I wish I ran into someone. It would have been cool. But no, we got that. The bomb went off, thankfully. We, yeah, we that was in the bag. We had a very good lead. But with that bomb, it's super solid. At this, even if our entire team dies, they can't catch up. So that's pretty good. And with a few seconds, I did not run into a single person for those was like 40 seconds, except for this guy. But with only like 3 seconds left, we couldn't have done anything. But, you know, oh well. You know, those are all nice colors to that GM. But anyways, guys, that was some of Freak gameplay. You know, there's only very few to Freaks in this game. This guy, the Nox, the DS, and the Kai. But I do, like, all the Freaks are good in this game. But anyways, with 5 kills and 2 deaths, pretty solid. But with that being said... My name is Slothcakes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time, so goodbye and enjoy your day.